My work's always had a lot to do with language and sort of the landscape of the mind. Since we moved here to Germany and living in this place where, I mean, I speak the language, but not completely fluently, and my son's learning the language, and, you know, Julie doesn't speak the language, so there's a lot of kind of dissonance between our all day long that we spend in this country where we don't speak the language and um, trying to communicate and what you get and don't get. I'm sort of thinking a lot about language and how it functions in your brain and what it means to you to be able to communicate or not be communicated. The text is sort of a combination of pieces of writing that I've done over the years, sort of overheard conversation, gathered text, things that I've found or seen or remembered. Sometimes when you run words together, they change in meaning too, because the different configurations can come, be come up with. One time someone read something I'd written and they misread it, and I much preferred the way they had misread it. My mother was a poet, and uh, my stepmother's a writer, so I I've you know, always kind of written as well as made art, and the two have always intersected somehow. Well, the embroideries have evolved over a few years. Um, they were all text-based initially. And they're still actually text-based, even though the text is harder to find. They kind of grew out of me spending a lot of time thinking about and reading Virginia Woolf. The way it really impacted me initially was reading something like Mrs. Dalloway. I didn't really get quietness out of it, I got sort of frenzy out of it and um, claustrophobia and intensity and, and then this sort of desire to constantly capture this exact moment that you're present in that very, 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 very moment and no other moment in the past or future, but this constant attempt to gra grasp this moment with words and, um, and kind of present thoughts like as they existed. And thoughts are so hard to pin down, they're just so, just, they're diaphanous and they're choppy and they're fragmented and they reference so many things in so many different directions. Each thought is so loaded. So that was sort of a large part of the genesis of the work.